Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to be doing a massive PR haul and I know that PR hauls can be a little bit controversial because some people don't like them um, I would just say that if you don't like watching this type of thing like um, you know like YouTubers or whatever showing you guys stuff that we have been sent then maybe just don't watch this video um, I've got plenty more videos that you can watch um, but this video has actually been highly requested a lot of you guys have been asking me if I can do a PR haul because I do show you guys on my snapchat and Instagram stories a few of the bits that I get sent um, but I thought it would be quite good to put everything into a haul because over the past couple of weeks I've very luckily been sent quite a few things um, and I'm so super grateful for the brands that send these like we don't ask for this stuff to be sent to us but the brands just do it out of like generosity and it's so so generous of them and you know I'm just obviously super grateful for all of the stuff that I've got. Just want to throw that out there and know like none of this video is sponsored. I literally and I have no obligation to mention any of this stuff but I thought I would literally just show you guys some of the stuff that I've got because one you might be interested in it and two it gives the brands you know like a little bit of publicity because I feel kind of bad when people send me stuff and then I just never get around to using it in a video because not everything like makes it onto camera like if I don't like something I'm not going to show it um but yeah I just thought I would do a haul. That was a really long intro. So I'm going to start with something that I actually got sent today because it's probably like the thing that is taking up the most amount of space. It didn't come in this, it actually came in a big box but I just used this envelope to take it upstairs. Basically L'Oreal randomly, like they didn't tell me they were going to send this, they've just sent me all of the shades of their Colorista um, washout hair colours. So there's like a burgundy one, um, another burgundy one, the one before I think was red, there's an orange, there is purple, green, peach, turquoise, two different pink colours which I'm definitely going to be using, a bright blue which has Sophie on it, um, Sophie Hannah Richardson if you guys don't know her, she's amazing, um, it's got like a pale kind of blue which I quite like the look of, and then the final two shades are another turquoise and a purple. So. Obviously that was so, so lovely of them to send me all of the colours and I'm not too sure why they did because they didn't even tell me they were sending them and I just opened this box like, oh my god. Um, and not only did they send that, they also sent me all of the colours of the um, hair sprays and they put it in this awesome bag. Like, how cool is this bag? I think it's, yeah, it's from Skinny Dip. It's a giant holographic bag, which I'm definitely going to be taking on holiday with me. And yeah, then in here they've just put some dry shampoo um, and then all of the colours of the kind of pastel hairsprays, which are the like wash in, wash out ones. Um, it says one day colour. I think it's literally just like a colourful hairspray. So there's a bunch of different colours of those as well. And also some dry shampoo, some glitter, um, a hair mask, I think, and some little hair ties. So... Thank you so so much L'Oreal, like I don't know why you sent this to me but it is so lovely of you and I'm definitely going to be testing some of these out. I absolutely cannot wait because obviously you guys know I love having colourful hair. By the way if you're wondering, I'm going to have a makeup tutorial up on this look um, with a different lip but I did a kind of like holographic eye makeup look thing. Anyway, moving on. Next is a little box from Sally Hansen and this says Awakening on it. It came really nicely presented um, and they've sent over their double duty top and base coat, some cuticle oil and the nail growth miracle serum. So I am very excited to use that. So thank you very much Sally Hansen for sending this over. I do also just want to say I know that this is a lot of stuff for one person. Like all of the stuff that I get sent, some of the things that I try and I don't so much get along with, I will either give them to like family or friends or give them to charity. Um, or give them to you guys like for giveaways or whatever um, so I don't end up keeping all of this stuff because I know it is a lot of stuff. Next I got sent a couple of bits from LA Girl. They actually sent me an email and asked if I would like to try anything and I thought I would do a testing um, LA Girl makeup video so I literally just asked for the foundation but they've sent me like a bunch of other stuff as well. So I've got the Pro Coverage Foundation which I cannot wait to try because it's been so hyped. Um, a powder, a cream highlighter, mascara, I've got a primer and then I've got a few of the LA Girl um, Pro Conceals which I really like and then a metallic lipstick so I'm definitely going to be doing a testing LA Girl makeup look because it's really affordable stuff and it's supposed to be pretty good so thank you very much LA Girl for sending that over. I then have my Love Me Beauty bag of the month this one is so cute if you guys don't know about Love Me Beauty I've spoken about them in a couple of videos before um, it's basically like a subscription makeup bag thing. Each month you get a little bag I think it's £10 a month and you get a certain amount of credits each month that you can like pick the products that you want to be in your bag and they have like makeup and skincare and stuff. Also if you want to get 20% off your first bag then you can use the code SOFDESNAILS20. It is an affiliate code so if you don't want to use that then 
don't bother, like whatever, it doesn't bother me, but just in case you wanted to get 20% off, then there you go. And it seems to me like they've just sent me all of the different options that you can pick from. So one of the things which looks really good is the Pixi Beauty Sleep Cream. Um, I love Pixi skincare, it's such good quality stuff. And there's also a couple of bits by Caudalie. Um, there is the Divine Oil, which you can use on your body, face or hair. There's a miniature radiance serum, a little concentrated brightening essence, whatever that means, it's some like little liquid thing. Um, some nourishing body lotion you can pick. There's also this Pericone MD face finishing moisturizer tint. What is this? And this has got SPF 30. I think it's like a tinted moisturizer that when you like rub it in, it kind of like adapts to your skin tone. Yeah, it is. It's like a tinted moisturiser. I don't know if you can see that. That's really cool because it looks white in here. And then the final thing that I think is available with Love Me Beauty as well is some Japanese cosmetics, which I am so excited by. This is a brand called Yubi. Um, and there is some moisturising skin cream, a lip balm, which says it's an original Japanese formula, a miniature moisturising skin cream, and then a couple of sachets of moisturizing body lotion and um, body scrub, face and body scrub. So that is the stuff that you can pick from for Love Me Beauty this month. Next, I have two things from Soap and Glory. Actually, no, that is a lie. I've got three things from Soap and Glory. The first one is this Spritz Me Quick Super Hydrating Moisture Mist. I can't figure out, I've literally read the entire thing and I cannot figure out whether this is for your face or your body. It says, leave skin silky smooth, soft and nourished. But it literally says nowhere on it whether it's for your face or your body. I have no idea, so somebody let me know. And then the next thing is their dry shampoo. They've just come out with the dry shampoo, which is called the Rush Hour. Punny. And um, this smells like their original fragrance. I do actually really like this shampoo. I've been using it, uh, as you can see, because I've lost the lid already. Does anyone ever keep the lids of dry shampoo? Because I just lose them immediately. <laughs> but yeah, this isn't white, which is one thing that I like about it. It's like clear, so it doesn't... Um, you know, leave white stuff in your hair. Doesn't bother me too much because my hair is grey, but if you want one that's like clear, then this one is pretty good. And then the next thing is some face masks. If you guys watched my vlog um, from the other day, I showed these in there. Um, but yeah, Soap and Glory are coming out with a bunch of like sheet masks and stuff, which is so exciting. There's a radiance boosting one, which is, which is a sheet mask. There's a pink peel off mask, which is like pore unclogging, I think. There's a pore refining mask. Um, there's a puffy eye mask thing for your eyes and then there is a speed plump moisture mask um, So I think these are coming out in July But so far they look really really good and I cannot wait to try them I mean obviously I don't know if they're really good because I haven't tried them But they look like they're gonna be good so I will feed back and let you guys know Maybe I will try one of these on my vlog channel Next I have a couple of bits from e.l.f. Um, as you guys know now e.l.f. is in Superdrug in the UK which is really exciting. Um, these are called the Best Friend Eyeshadow Duos. One of them has got like a peach and then a gold and the other one has got a kind of rose gold and a matte kind of creamy sort of colour. So these are just some eyeshadow duos. They, did, they then also sent over the eyeliner that I tested in my first impressions the other day and then also this which is the Shadow Lock Eyelid Primer. So I don't really use eyelid primer but I might give this a go because because, I don't know, I may as well test it out. I then got a little package from Benefit, which was so, so nice of them. Um, the girls from Benefit are all so lovely. Well, as are all of the PR people I talk to really like. The girls from Soap and Glory and the girls from Benefit are just so, so nice. Um, so, this was from Benefit, and it's just a little bag uh, with like an airplane on it, on it of all of their like travel essentials, which I thought was so cute. Um, there is a miniature triple performing face emulsion. The cutest thing in this package is the mini hula. It's like a mini version of the normal hula, obviously, duh. But like, look how tiny and cute it is, and it comes with a little brush as well, so. If you want to try Hula out, but you don't want to buy the full size, then I think this one is a lot cheaper. I think it's like £12 or something. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right, who knows. And then there is a miniature Benetint. There is a miniature High Beam, which is the highlighter, which I haven't tried before, so I'm quite excited to try this. Although it is a cream highlighter, so I don't know how I'm going to get along with it. They have the Gimme Brow in shade 3. I used to love the Gimme Brow, but I haven't used it in ages, so I'm definitely going to start using this again, because I used to love that. Um, a miniature roller lash, and then a tiny weeny itty bitty professional. But yeah, thank you very much to Benefit for sending that over. That was so, so lovely of you. Next, I have something from Makeup 
Revolution. Obviously, you guys might know already that I do make videos and do some of their social media stuff over on their channel. Um, and obviously, that means that I get some of the new releases. Their new release this week is the Silicone Sponge. This is the Teardrop Silicone Sponge. As you guys know, like, Scylla sponges were massive, like, a couple of months ago. Um, but you couldn't really get them, like, that easily. I can't open this, um, but Makeup Revolution have brought one out. If you are looking to try a silicone sponge and you want to get one pretty easily, then this one is the Makeup Revolution one. I can't remember how much it is because I suck. Next, I have a couple of bits from Longcom. I'm still really confused as to why Longcom send me stuff because obviously my channel is like majority drugstore, but it's very, very nice of them. Like, don't get me wrong. They sent me two of their new juicy shakers, which are matte. Um, obviously, the other juicy shakers were kind of like a glossy like an oil gloss type of thing i do actually really like the original juicy shakers i have an apricot one and it tastes delicious so obviously these ones are matte i got two pink shades they have this squidgy little thing which i just want to eat ah okay i think this is kind of like a lip stain it's a really like thin formula but it is pretty vibrant and then the next thing is the monsieur big mascara um this is a volumizing mascara from the little picture on the side it looks like it's going to be pretty good so i don't know maybe i should give this a go because let's see what the packaging is like okay the packaging looks like this it's just like plain black and then the brush i feel like this is a mascara that i'm gonna like because the brush looks pretty like grippy does that make sense it looks like it will grip your lashes pretty well. Next thing is probably my most favorite thing out of this whole haul. Um, I got sent a little package by Ciate. I don't think I've been sent something by Ciate today. Today? Before? <laughs> Meant to say before? Um, so thank you very much for this. They've sent over this giant kind of clear bag. And when I saw that it said glow to the beach on it, I was like, please say these are highlighters. Turn the package around and we have some highlighters. So there's two bronzers in their new collection, but I'll talk about those in a minute because first I'm gonna talk about the highlighters because these are gorgeous. I have the first one in Starburst and one in Moondust. I think Starburst is the lighter one. So they come in really, really pretty packaging. It kind of reminds me of Christmas because it's got like stars on it. Um, and then you open it like this and it's got a mirror and then the actual product looks like this. It's got like little stars on it. I'm not sure if you can see from there. I have like messed mine up a bit because I've swatched it already um, but this one is gold and then I'll just swatch the darker one which is called moon dust this one is a kind of pinky color but I feel, I feel like on me this might be a little bit too dark because it's I don't know actually I don't know I'll give it a go um, but let me just swatch these on my hand because I swatched them on my Instagram stories the other day and they were beautiful like especially the pink one the pink one is stunning like oh they are so pretty like i love the texture of them i definitely feel like the the pinky one called moon dust has got a nicer texture than the gold one just something that i've noticed like it's more metallic only downside is i think they're pretty expensive they're in like the kind of 20 pound range i'm pretty sure and then they have two bronzers i have tried one of these already um and i really actually like it the first one is called south beach i think this is the one that i like Okay, no, this is the darker one. This darker one is called South Beach and it's got a slight like gold shimmer running through it. And then the one that I like, I was mistaken, is called Palm Island. And Palm Island is a really pale bronzer. So, so this is them side by side. As you can see, this one is a lot lighter. I wore this the other day in a video and I did actually really like it. I really like the formula, it's really blendable. But again, these are expensive. So if you're not into pricey makeup, then I would recommend trying the Body Shop Honey Bronzer because it's kind of similar to that. Thank you very much Ciate for sending those over. I'm very excited to put them on my face. Okay, so next I got a big box from... Okay, I'm going to completely butch this name. I think it's called Skunchy or Skuncy or something like that. And they sent me a big box of hair stuff and it actually came with a little personalised makeup bag which is so, so cute and so nice of them. It's such a lovely touch. Um, so there is this headband which says it's the most comfortable headband ever apparently it bends to like the shape of your head which is really interesting um they also sent this really cute little like flower crown for a bun um some really pretty scrunchies i really like using scrunchies when i'm like tying my hair up because they don't leave like a dent as much as normal hair bands there was some then really cool no slip grip um hair bands which are made of like silicone there is a back combing little brush thing a crisscrosser thing which seems to be 
like for braiding your hair to make it easy. That looks so cool. Some more little hair elastics, a, um, I think this is like a clip to wear on your hair. And then finally some clear um, little, what are they called? I can't remember what are these called. Just like clear hair elastics, I think. Um, so basically, it seems like they do a bunch of like cool and interesting hair accessories. So I'm quite excited to use those. I then have a little package from Ico, which is very nicely presented in this little box. Um, and they sent over a couple of their best sellers, I think. So they've sent over their brow gel, which I haven't tried before. This is the tinted one. Ooh, look at this tube. Okay, it seems like it's kind of like a brown color. It's kind of like a cool toned brown brow gel. I'm actually really excited to try this. I like the look of that a lot. They then sent the Skinny Liquid Liner, Line and Define in black. I have used this before in one video that I did with Beauty Bay a long time ago. Um, I can't remember if I liked it. I think I found it a bit dry. It's not my favorite eyeliner because I haven't like reached for it again, um, but I might give it another go and see what I think. They've also sent the Lash Alert Mascara, which I'm always down for trying new mascaras because I love a good mascara. Um, so I would definitely be giving this a try. They've then sent over three of their Me and My Shadow Waterproof Shadow Liners um, in the shades Charcoal, Bronze and Quartz. Let's try the shade Quartz. Okay, so it looks like this. Ooh, and one side it's got a little brush, which I guess is for like smudging it out. And then the other side. Hello, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. There's nothing in here. I think the, the like, actual crayon bit has just fallen out somewhere but I can't see where it's gone when I opened this the other day there was something in it but where did it go mm, okay let's try another shade okay so this is what it's supposed to be it's supposed to have like a twist up crayon in it but the other one I don't even know how I've managed to lose the crayon bit Ooh, they feel super smooth and like creamy. There is that one down here. And then the last thing they sent is this really cool little like three in one brush. So it has a liner on one side. You go like that and it like pops out. How cool. So you can use this for your eyeliner, I guess. Um, there is then a flat eyeshadow brush like in the middle section. And then on the end, there is a little like smudger brush for like your lower lash line. Um, so I guess if you're looking for a brush that you wanna like take on your travels, this will be a pretty good one to just like put in your makeup bag. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. And then the final thing is also from Soap and Glory. I completely forgot this was here because it was hiding behind the other box. But they basically come out with this happy glamper kit where you get a rain mac, like a pink fold up rain mac. So it's basically like a little festival travel kit, which I think is such a good idea. And then obviously you get the bag as well, which I think is kind of like waterproof lined um so they here is the rain mat i've taken it out of the packaging um and then you've got a little like fold out brush some face wipes mini dry shampoo super cat skinny eyeliner a matte lip stick the handmade hand gel or like what's it called hand sanitizer which i actually carry around with my handbag all the time and then the original pink body spray because obviously at festivals you're not going to be able to shower that much so this is going to make you smell nice i just think it's such a cute little like festival essentials kit so if this is out already i will link it down below as well as all of the products i hope you guys have enjoyed it obviously i'm so so lucky to receive all of these amazing things and i am so grateful for all of the things that i receive and i just want to say a massive thank you if you're a brand that has sent me things and been a part of this video or just in general if you are a brand that has sent me things in the past i just want to say a massive massive thank you because it is so generous of you and obviously like i love all the stuff i love trying all these new things and i'm very lucky i know that so thank you guys for watching if you aren't already subscribed to my channel i would love it if you would subscribe and yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye